Nick and I here. We're going to see if this 1959 Kenworth will cheech. It's like 15 degrees out. It's like 7 o'clock at night. As you can see without my headlights, it is pitch black out. But, oh, why not see if she'll start? Oh man, and I have soggy butt after driving this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well this one keeps popping off. We're going to have to give the old girl a jump start to get her going. The one 12 volt battery ain't got enough get up and go for it, so... Away she goes. Oh, she's trying. Does it need the auto feed? It might. <laughs> Good lord. All right.
chained up the front axle so maybe she'll actually go somewhere There she is, back in her spot. As you can tell, it's daylight out now, so it is actually a couple days later. Got kind of lazy here, so, you know. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed those shenanigans, the cold start on this thing. Figure I can uh, give you guys a little bit of a walk around, actually I'll let you have a gander at her. You can see the uh, fiberglass patch on the front fenders. This thing's a 1959. I believe the model is CC925. You can have a look at it here. Yeah, CC925. I don't know if the AK29 means Alaska or what, but yeah. Oh. But you might be able to see the suspension in there is touching the tire. When you run it down the road, it actually creates a lot of smoke. And we had to switch the tire chains to put the single rails on this rear tire. Because this inside chain, if this one was back here, would be rubbing on the frame. Completely destroy the chain. So... There you can see how crooked the frame rail is. We had it straightened for a little while and then it dropped right back down. We're gonna have to pick it up and like shove a block of wood in there or weld some metal to the axle or some nonsense to make the frame not touch the tire. See the old fuel tank just got a nice knock. See the Wagner tachograph on the dash. The old tattletail is what the old timers called them. Got the. I'm not gonna bother to open that up, but it's a 855 series Cummins engine. I believe I kind of deduced it down to like an NHC T230 is what I believed it was, but. I'm not too sure on that. It runs the old Crooked K emblem. Crooked trim on the grill. The 10 speed won't go into high range, so you're kind of stuck in the low range gears, which that's probably for the best. I don't think this truck needs to be going into high range anytime soon. The patches on the hood. Yep, if this truck could talk, the stories it would tell. <laughs> 